everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that I was not planning on filming. <laughs> so I told you in my last video, my last haul video, my Sephora VIB Rouge uh, spring sale, whatever I called it, my last Sephora haul video, I said I'm not going to do any more hauls, I promise. But this is part two to that haul. So when I purchased all of that stuff, in the store there were some things that were either sold out or not available in stores yet so I did an online purchase that same day and I finally got the purchase in the mail and I posted a picture on my Instagram saying oh, I'm not gonna film a video I'm just gonna put the picture on here and I had somebody who was like no film a video so I'm here to film a video <laughs> so because I wasn't planning on filming a video I don't even have a bag or a box or anything anymore I just have the products I actually even have started to use the products I try to wait usually when I do hauls I try to wait to use the products until after I film my haul but I wasn't planning on filming this so I hope you guys don't mind I'm actually wearing a lot of the products on my face today right now so it's kind of like a mini review slash haul um, and then I have one more thing that I didn't buy at Sephora but I wanted to show you guys anyways because I'm so stinking excited about it and let's get started. I bought three, yes three blushes. I did not buy any blushes in the store because all the ones that I wanted were brand new and they weren't in the stores yet. So I bought three blushes. The first one I was so excited to see this online. So this is the Tarte High Performance Neutrals Amazonian Clay Skin Intuitive 12 Hour Blush. That's a long title, but it's in the color Energy. I love Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blushes. They are my ultimate favorite. I think they're my most favorite out of all blushes ever. And this one is in the color Energy, so it's supposed to be that like um, skin tone pH balance adjusting blush where it starts out as like the same color for everybody, but then it like transforms into like your perfect pink dependent upon like the pH balance in your skin or something like that. Um, I haven't worn this one yet, but I did swatch it earlier when I was taking pictures. I swatched it, and then I waited like 20 minutes and I swatched it again, and there really wasn't that much of a difference in color. So I don't really know if it changes color on me, <laughs> but it is a really pretty blush, and the formulation is just like all of their other Amazonian clay blushes, where it has like that perfect like buttery clay texture, and I think I'm really gonna like this. Then I bought two of the new Clinique Cheek Pop blushes. So these first came out probably two years ago and they only had four colors. I didn't like any of those four colors so I had never purchased these before but they just released like eight new shades or like a ton of new shades and I had my eye on two of them. I have my eye on another one. I think it's called Pansy Pop. It's like a purplish color but it's sold out online and they're not in stores yet but I I think I might buy that one too when it comes out. But the two I bought were Nude Pop and Heather Pop. So Nude Pop looks like this. This one appealed to me because I really do like nude colored blushes. I know that seems kind of silly, like a nude colored blush, what do you mean? What's the point of even wearing a blush if it's nude? But anytime I'm wearing like really heavy smoky eyes or really heavy lips, I like to wear like a neutral nude colored blush. And I was hoping that this would be similar to the color um, Exposed by Tarte, but it's not. And I think I like it a little bit better than Tarte's Exposed because this is like a true nude. It's a true, like, pinkish. No, not pinkish. It's not pink. It's not orange. It's not beige. It's just like a nude color. It's really hard to explain. And it's very buildable. So it starts out like very sheer. So I'll show you like it starts out super sheer, but then you can keep building it and keep building it and keep swatching it. And then you can like build it to a darker color. So I really, really like that because then it's kind of like you get to pick the shade that you want to wear. So I'm thinking about doing a video on all of my nude colored blushes. If you guys are interested in seeing something like that, let me know down below and I will film that for you. Heather Pop is the second one that I bought and I am wearing that one on my cheeks today. I really, really, really like this one. So this one is just this really pretty kind of like mauve plum color. 
No, plum's not the right color, not the right adjective. I'm really bad at describing this, but it's kind of like a mauve, like a brownish mauve color maybe. This one is probably closer to Tarte's Exposed than the nude one is, but you can see right there, it is just this really pretty, just kind of like, it's my perfect color blush. I love this color blush, you guys know that. I just love this like mauve rose, like dusty rose color. And that's what this one is, so it's right up my alley, and I'm wearing it on my cheeks, and I love it so far. By the way, the formula of these Clinique Cheek Pop blushes is really, really unique. It's really hard to explain. They come off kind of powdery, but when you rub it into your skin, it almost like transforms into a cream, but it, it's not a cream blush. So I'm sorry to bust in like this, but I am editing this video right now, and I'm so bummed because the second half of this clip just like disappeared. It's corrupt, it's not working, and I can't re-import it, and I'm so frustrated, but I didn't want to discard the entire video even though I thought about it. So I'm going to quickly tell you about the other two products that I lost the footage for. Luckily, I still have the close-up so I can at least show you the products up close, but the first one is a Dior eyeliner. It's the Kohl eyeliner in the color black. This I am wearing on my eyes in this video, and I really like this eyeliner a lot. It's nothing too special. It's not, you know, anything crazy, but it's just a Dior eyeliner, and I've never owned one prior to this. So I like it because it's a little bit thicker than your standard eyeliner, and it's a roll-up, so I don't have to sharpen it. And so far, so good. I really like it. Second product I am wearing on my lips in this video, and that is the Hourglass uh, lip gloss. I think it's just called the Hourglass Lip Gloss. And this lip gloss is so amazing. I've worn it several times since I bought it. It's in the color Ballet. And the good thing about this lip gloss is the doe foot applicator is really, really cool. It's super similar to the... Uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer Applicator, if you own that. Super random, I know, but it's like a flexible, flat doe foot applicator, and it's awesome. The formula of this lip gloss is not too thick, not too thin, and not sticky at all. The color is really, really pigmented, and it lasts a long time. It is slightly drying on the lips, but it's beautiful and I love it. Okay, the next product I'm going to show you, I did not buy from Sephora, and I explained that in the video clip that I lost, but I purchased it at Barney's New York department store, and I'm gonna tell you all about that right now. But I found this at Barney's, actually. I Googled it to figure out where the heck it was sold, and Barney's New York, the department store, had it. So I went and I swooped it up, but this is the NARS Tahiti Bronzer Laguna Palette. So this is, I want to say, part of their summer line. Oh, that's not the right side to open it. Packaging is quite large, but what this is... Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. So it looks like this. It's quite big, uh, but it is a... Laguna bronzer, so just like their standard Laguna bronzer with a little bitty mini Eda brush. So I have the full size NARS Eda brush and I love it. I love it so much. I used it today to do my cheek contour and it's perfect. So I think this little mini version is going to be so nice and just help to be super precise because you can get a better hold of it. So I, it's just such a cute. I, I have been wanting to buy Laguna by itself because it's like the perfect matte bronzer. It's not too orange. It's not too dark. It's like great for my bare skin. Actually, it is not matte. It has like a tiny bit of sheen in it. But anyways, I've had my eye on it forever and ever, and I've just been holding off because I already have so many bronzers. But then I saw that this limited edition palette came out, and I was like, oh, I need that because a little mini Eda brush is in there, and it's just so cute. So this palette is $59, but that's actually a really good deal because the Eda brush by itself is $55, and then the bronzer is bigger than your standard Laguna bronzer. This one is .35 ounces, and I think the like standard Laguna is .25 ounces, so it's quite large. It's going to last forever, and that alone is... I think like $30. So this is really like an $85 value, if not more. 
and it was $59, so really good deal. All right, guys, well, that is the end of this mini haul. Even though this was mini, I feel like I talked a lot. I've been recording for 15 minutes, so hopefully I can, like, minimize that to not be 15 minutes for you, but six products, all of them I'm really excited about, and I think that concludes my haulage for a while. So thank you so much for watching, and thank you to my Instagram follower who was like, post it anyways. So... Thank you. I posted this for you. <laughs> and I think that's all. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.